I can type pretty fast, around 160 to 170 words per minute on average, and I've made quite a few videos on the topic. As of late, on many of those videos, people have been leaving comments about how they're not improving even though they type in their day-to-day -day lives or consistently practice. Now, conscious practice aside, today I wanted to dive into that idea of why practicing typing in your day-to-day -day life doesn't really carry over to when you do typing tests, because being able to type at 160 words per minute isn't really that useful. So anyway, let's dive into it. Hello internet and welcome back to another typing video. If you're new here, my name is Mark and I'm a last semester student studying at NYU, uh, majoring in computer science and linguistics with a minor in game design. Looking at my monkey type statistics very briefly, my bests are 169, 177, 163. My average is, I guess, 125. I can get pretty much the same on quotes as I can regular random words at this point, so we're gonna work with 160. I started taking typing tests about six years ago, and I think I started around 110 or 120 words per minute when a classmate of mine told me about it, and I started learning proper typing because of the multiplayer games that I played. I won't be going over how to type properly or techniques to use when you practice, but you can find videos that I've made over here in the top right corner. In my experience, the only thing that I'll use 160 words per minute for is typing tests like those on monkey type, and it's not really useful for much else. However, before I dive into that, I want to touch upon typing competitions and the like. According to a quick search, the average person types around 30 to 40 words per minute, and the threshold for a professional typist, whether it be by exam or otherwise, is around 65 plus words per minute. If you aren't already familiar, websites like KeyMash have entirely competitive-based parts of their websites where you have various rankings based on your typing speed. Other websites, such as TyperX.com, hold competitions, at least last year they held an international competition. I placed 59th by the time the competition was over and my average words per minute was around 150 something, I believe, and the fastest typists in that competition ended up ranking between 190 and 220 to 230 words per minute, at least in the latter part of the competition in the placements it was lower 200s. I mention this because in such environments of typing competitions, it's natural to type as fast as you possibly can, but it's not really that useful in everyday life. If you go to run a mile because you want to, you don't really need to run a four minute mile. But if you're training for a mile long race, then running a mile in under four minutes would be pretty epic. I say this because when I can type 160 words per minute or whatever it is, it's not like I can code at 160 words per minute. People who take typing exams to become audio transcriptionists, if that's the right term, just have to type at 65 plus. I tried transcribing audio as a trial once, but I had to keep going back and seeing what the words were exactly and correcting myself and putting in timestamps. So just because I could type three times that of the requirement for a professional typist did not mean that I got the same work done in one third of the time. I've gotten a lot of comments that say, hey, I type in my day job, or hey, I type every day, but I don't improve, what's going on? As someone who programs quite a bit and spends a lot of time at the keyboard, whether it be in conversations or writing up school assignments, typing fast at around 160 words per minute is pretty much useless and definitely won't help your practice. There are different keyboard layouts out there. For example, QWERTY, which is likely the one you, the viewer, has, and Dvorak. If people do speed typing, they might change to this layout. I choose to use QWERTY simply because when I sit down at the average computer, there's a very good chance it will be on the QWERTY layout. So the only reason I still use QWERTY is purely a functional reason. How is this relevant, you might ask? Well, I mention it because it shows that typing fast and typing in competitions is something encapsulated within itself. You get new sneakers to run fast, you get a new keyboard layout to type faster. When I'm writing an essay, it's great to be able to look at the book and type a quote out in five to 10 seconds, but as soon as I'm back to writing my own ideas, there's no way I'm writing all of these brand new ideas at 160 words per minute. Even writing this script, I paused at the comma after my own ideas. When I write video scripts, I can write as fast as I might be able to speak the words, so it's nice to be able to write out this sentence really fast. 
But as you can see, my speaking still slowed down there because I had to think about what I'm writing as I'm writing it. However, when I'm writing my own ideas, I don't get further than 10 to 12 words because I need to pause to think again. And for programming, this is very similar. Really quick, let me do a typing test with a segment of code on a website called speedtyper.dev that I'm fairly familiar with. Okay, so here we have speedtyper.dev. This is a segment of what looks to be Java code, which is great. All right, I would say that was pretty decent as far as typing tests on a website goes like this. And we can see that I got 77 words per minute. That was when Java code was right in front of me. But what if, for example, here is one of my projects. It's a Minecraft minigame plugin that I'm working on. As I'm thinking of ideas, I'm not gonna type at even 70 words per minute because I need to think about what I'm doing. Oh, add a player to a game function. Okay, well, I need to do if this. Well, okay, what message do I wanna send them? Then I need to type it all out. Only when I have very clear things uh, that I have in mind, things I've done in the past, someone's over my shoulder talking to me, will I even get close to 80 words per minute while typing code? I encourage you to try this out on your own as well, this little distinction here. In the comments down below, go ahead and think up a sentence or pull a quote up on your phone or next to you and go ahead and type it out, similar to how I'm doing right on the screen here. Then after that, try and just write the first words that come to mind or a sentence and assumably, uh, if my hypothesis is correct here, at least it is for me, you'll find yourself pausing and thinking as you go with whatever the next words might be. Note what difference you feel, and if you don't note any, note that itself. I'd be super curious to hear if this is just a me thing, but also a you thing. As of late, I've been thinking about how important it is to have a strong intrinsic goal, something that drives you to complete something. Whether it be dieting, to exercise, to coding, to art, you need a strong reason for doing something. That being said, the goal of this video is twofold. The first reason is to say that typing at 160 words per minute isn't actually that practical. Just like chess masters are great at memorizing the patterns in chess, and I'm horrible at it, does that mean that they're going to be great strategists or that I'm a horrible strategist? I don't think so. I might be able to type at 160 words per minute on a typing test, but as I've just seen, that's not too useful in my day-to-day -day life. It's just another specialized skill that's not entirely practical. The other point of this video is to say that for those of you who want to increase your typing speed, just because you type at your day job or whatever it is that you might be doing throughout the day doesn't mean your typing speed will also increase. This goes with really anything in my opinion, but if you don't mindfully practice something, if you don't mindfully push yourself, you will never improve at something like that, or even if it's general. One day I might be writing code for seven to eight hours a day for a job or something, but if I don't put aside time at the beginning or the end or the middle of the day to explicitly practice typing fast, I will never get out of a plateau that I'm in. I will only hit the, the threshold, the bandwidth that is required for that day-to-day -day job. Simply put, sometimes your day-to-day -day activities are just not enough if you want to type faster, unless it's something really niche, like talking to multiple people at once and you need to get ideas out there quickly, or your job is someone tells you the algorithms over your shoulder and the faster you can type, the better. And of course, as a small side note, just ask yourself, why are you trying to learn how to type fast, if you are? If you are doing it just so you can get a new number, it might not be a strong enough intrinsic motivation as I mentioned earlier. You simply might not need to. I probably haven't exceeded 120 words per minute at any point while writing the script for this video. And if I can get 77 words per minute while writing some Java programming, then I will likely never exceed 60 maybe never exceed 80 at the fastest points while writing code. And that's simply because I don't need to. Anywho, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below, comment any of your thoughts and feedback. I kind of challenge myself with this one, actual lighting, kind of framing my setup, a different screen recording here and there, some overlays. And if you watch this video and you do feel like you want to type fast, then I definitely encourage you to go for it because at a certain point, it is definitely a useful skill hitting 60, 70, 80 words per minute. And you can find a whole slew of videos that I've made on the topic in this corner here and on screen in just a moment. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week. Very epic. Incredibly 